So after, after the sex education class at, in the fifth grade, separated the girls, separated the boys. Girls came back and seemed like they learned something. Did you learn anything at that time? And you was in the fifth grade at that time. Right. And how old would that make you? Ten, either 10 or 11. 10 or 11. Okay. So what did you learn at that moment? I don't you remember don't. anything. So at that moment when, 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 when he was talking to you, when the teacher was talking to you, do you feel that maybe some of the stuff that you, and as you mentioned in the book, Dob, uh, was doing was wrong? Did that spark a bell with you? That perhaps maybe what y'all was doing was wrong? Oh no, I, at that moment I knew. You knew what we were doing was wrong. So you But I just didn't know it was considered sex. Even I didn't know what I wasn't really I like I said, I was just following. I didn't know what I was doing. And because I enjoyed it, I continued. Okay. All right, but after the sex education class, and I'm sure that after all right. At the sex education class, the teacher, from the level that he taught you, was more leering toward sex between a female, a girl, because they separated girls and boys. Right. So, but you were having sex with a male. Right. So how did how did that how did that play on your psyche at all? Well, I can't. Like I said, I can't really recall say how I felt about it only because I don't recall what he taught at that moment. Even in that moment I wasn't really paying attention only because like even every time he would have to say the word penis mm -hmm. he couldn't really say it without okay. getting I guess you could say shy or embarrassed. But or, you knew what he was talking but, about. Yeah but even as far as um, because if you're in the fifth grade and you at that age was what? Fifth grade is what? Ten, ten. ten years old. You had already had six, six years with right. this person in your book you referred to as Deb or Dab. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you knew at that time. Now at that, at that moment of knowing that, after that class, you still encountered with this character, this person of the same sex. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um... And then uh, you wrote on page four, I was naked and we was penetrate and I was penetrating my penis against my bed. I was pretty much doing what me and Dub did, but but because I was I I was alone, I used the bed. The feeling was great, and at some point, not knowing it happened, I ejaculated. Well, most boys, you know, most boys, at some point have, uh, if the bed can right. talk, that's, you, you understand me, but the only thing I'm trying to pull out of here is that most, a lot of the things that you, as, after reading the book, a lot of things that you are mentioning in the book, most boys have done, right. call experimental, right. you know what I mean, uh, 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 the rubbing against the bed and wishing for Doris, or you understand me, or the teacher, or whatever, you understand me. Most boys have done that right there. And uh, uh, ejaculating at 13, 14 years old, most boys that grown into men have experienced that. But you blame it all from the level of four years old. Well, I say that, um, like I said, everything I've done since then was because, because of that. I know that... Um, I know a lot of people say experimental, but there are some boys out there who, who don't, and I who don't do what experiment as far as you know keep themselves. And um, I mean, uh, keep I, themselves. What do you mean? Like staying a virgin, holding themselves completely. Yeah, but we don't know that they, they might experiment with the bed. You, you, you understand what I mean? You know. I'm, yeah, I know you, that. You know, not, not so much. says most or all boys do, but is I know there are a few that don't. And all I'm saying is, every time I did something, sure, it was because I would remember how it felt. It was never because I was experimenting. Well, I could say a lot of boys probably haven't experimented with the same sex. Well, that's but. what I mean. 
as for me, I wasn't doing it to experiment. Right. I was doing it because I remembered how good it felt. Sure. And I wanted to feel it again. Sure. And that's basically where I'm coming from in this book is that for my life, every time I went forth, whether it was to pleasure myself or even to get hook up with someone, it was because I was remembering how good it felt with this other guy and I I wanted it again. And I couldn't at the time well I I don't want to say I couldn't. I wouldn't discipline myself not to do it. Not to pleasure yourself or right. not to get with this person. Right. Okay, at that age, at um, 10 years old, 11 years old, the little girls are starting to look a little bit different. Yeah. Well, the thing is, even with that, I had um, third grade, let me see, third grade, sixth grade, and I think eighth grade, I had crushes on girls. Um, you never mentioned it in the book, though. Right. Probably not, yeah. You, all, you um, only mentioned having crushes. Yeah. On guys, yeah. If someone read this book, they wouldn't think yeah. that you had ever well there are, interaction yeah. with a girl. Well, no, there's only two of them, I think. The first one I never told, but the other two I told, and I was actually the first one I told someone else to tell. Okay. You know, sixth grade, that's what you do. Mm -hmm. In eighth grade, I actually wrote her a letter. Sure. This the the third girl. Um. I was shot down both times. And, and why do you and, think um, you were shot down? Well, I know when, in um, middle school, high school, I was not popular. Okay. I didn't look the part, and I was even, um, how do I say, overweight. Do you think that so, you were what they call a loser in high school? Yes, yes I was. And, and I mean, I, ha I had friends and people talked to me, but I wasn't in the in crowd. I wasn't okay. with the cool people. I didn't sit at the cool table at lunch table. So I was considered a nerd or, you know, the outcast. But, uh, okay, a lot of that right there... From what I read in your book, you talked about being obese at that time, too. Were you obese during those well, years? Yeah. Um, so yeah. that would push people away yeah. from you. Yeah. So it wasn't you, per se. It, it wasn't you, uh, 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 Casey, yourself. Right. It was a situation that you was probably you were overweight, so the cute girl is not going to talk yeah. to you. Well, because I figured that, but I... Um, for whatever reason, I felt the, the need to tell. Sure. Tell him. So, yeah. But do you feel that maybe your interaction from age 10, because, you, you know, you got 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, now you're going into adulthood at 13, you know, at, um, and teens. Um, do you feel that maybe, have you ever sat down and thought about it? Because I read your book, forward and back, put some of it on tape and beat the reader day. And do you think that maybe a lot of it was just because that you kept pursuing that level of pleasure because you couldn't get to a girl? Do you, you understand what I'm saying? That because of the weight, because of that, it kind of, you and the theory, it kind of done what, um, what was that play? Uh, Phantom of the Opera. Kind of like. I think that was just that play. That because you were overweight at the time, no one would, you know, really push that. The cute little girl was not going to push that, right? Then, you know, overlook that rather. That maybe the secrecy, maybe your 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 level of life with this secrecy with the male was only because you could not get to the female. Does that make any sense to you? It does, but I don't think... Only because I was pursuing even before I started, you know, even thinking about girls, so to speak. You were pursuing what? The um, pleasure with him. With the male? Right. Okay, but... And then I would say even after... Um, you know, once I got into college and left college, I've had many choices to be with women. Mm -hmm. But I just, I got so used to being with a guy. Sure, I sure, just couldn't. Sure. Like I said, there there have been times where, um, like I said, the places where I, where I was um, searching for, you know, sex. There are many times where I've been offered, you know, 
um, you know, ask, are you bisexual? You know, would you like to get my girlfriend in? I would always be afraid to, mm -hmm. because I was, there's so many jokes about how a man can't pleasure a woman, and because I was so used to so many years being with a man, I thought there was no way I could do anything with a woman. Sure. So I stuck. Because you're jerk. What I'm well, used well, to. Because, right, right, because that's what you're used to. You, if you got 20 years, or, or let's say a good 16 years, and you're just used to male, right. and but you see, at some point in anything, we have to give ourselves a cookie. You know, a cookie is something that you never want to have a Dell tasting cookie, a bland cookie. They make bland cookies, but most people want a cookie with sugar in it. Right. That's why we go for the cookie. And to give yourself the cookie, to give yourself the sweet taste, would be to say that maybe if I wasn't overweight at the time, and maybe if I was a little bit more popular at the time, I wouldn't have even went for no man, or I would have got out of it. But, but if we look at your life chronologically, and we go up this ladder with your life, and we say, all right. We go up this ladder, but we're going up 300 pounds, 200 pounds, whatever it is at the time. Overweight person at the time. And everybody seeks, needs pleasure. Drive you crazy if you don't have it. So, the only place that you can get pleasure without a strain, without going too far out, without making yourself look stupid or whatever, would be with the same sex. It was sneaky, it was consensual. It, you, you follow what I'm trying to say? Do you think that maybe if you didn't have the weight during those years and if you was a little bit more popular and you wasn't what they call a loser? Would I have? I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I would say, the only thing I could say was that I probably would have had a girlfriend or whatever. Sure. But I wouldn't. I'd say I probably would be what they call on the down low. I would still, I think I would have still have done it, and even even so, would have even pursued more guys behind the closet while keeping a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I I don't believe, like I said, only because I was only fulfilling my memory. I, like I said, I would remember. And every time this memory comes to me, how good it felt. But your memory, I but but your memory in a time frame of from four to let's say thirteen, let's just use that, is also channeled with the fact that you had all this weight on yourself. And well, it was not the weight popular. wasn't really there at that time. All the time, no, it wasn't. Um, I would say probably about fifth grade is when. The weight. Uh, yeah. And even in that, I mean, I didn't realize that chances are it was probably because of what I was doing. That made that you. I became, um, how I would say, I would, even when I was full, I would still want to eat. Well, eating is, in truth, eating is a pleasure. Most people, a great deal of people, have a problem with food because food right. is very comfortable. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, can, uh, <laughs> we can run the gamut on that right there, you know, do you show after show up. Uh, good food, <laughs> you know what I mean, and the relaxation that comes along with eating good food. But I, I, reading, your, reading your book, uh, Casey, and uh, what I kind of pulled out of it was that a young boy that had these other issues and, you know, that took his energy and deposited somewhere where it wasn't challenged. Talking to cute Doris would have been a challenge. Might even got beat up for it if she, cons you know, mm -hmm. consented to walking down the hallway with you. You know, somebody, you know, that's more popular said, "What you doing with her loser?" And you, you understand that's the way they termed it. And uh, I think that that right there caused you to, from what I just seen in the book, that that caused you to really go deep where you could win. Everybody want to win somewhere. Yeah. We all want to win somewhere. We all do. All right. Because some of the things that you mentioned in the book, to me, it, it seemed that um, 